Welcome to another edition of Ask the AD, albeit a special version of Ask the AD, although we're not taking questions from you, the fans. This is about you, the fans, in a roundabout way. Thus, the new spot. We're over here in the newly renovated east side of Bill Snyder Family Stadium, the East Club. Brian Smoller, Director of Athletics, Gene Taylor, talking about the newly released list of improvements here at Bill Snyder Family Stadium for the upcoming 2018 season. And there are a lot of these to get through. It's interesting, you know, you get asked all the time, I'm sure you do as well, about construction projects and facility projects projects and what's, when's the next thing you're doing at football and then you list out 20 things that are new for this year. There's a long laundry list. Yeah, here. I think sometimes people think that the projects are all have to be big like the West Stadium Club but you know our staff does a great job every year looking at projects to make the stadium and fan experience better. Obviously the East Club is probably our biggest project this year but we have a lot of exciting things for our fans to to understand and know about in the year ahead which again just make coming to you know, Bill Snyder Family Stadium, a better opportunity. All right, let's start with the People State Bank East Club renovation. $1.5 million uh, for this space up here. What, what do you see as the highlights of it? Well, pretty much everything. And I didn't get over here a lot last year, but they really upgraded everything from the concession areas, the bar areas, just the amenities. It looks and feels brand new, and which it is. And, and, you know, as the fans come in, those that have been in the East Club, they're going to see a really a wow factor when they walk in and there are seats available so we'll have a chance to kind of highlight it at our fan fan appreciation day uh, for those fans that are in the East Club they'll be able to come over and, and walk around and those that might be interested in East Club seats there'll be opportunities to to take a look and see what seats are open but it is absolutely beautiful and our, our fans will really appreciate those in the East Club about the, the new upgrades. Yeah it really mirrors uh, sort of the motif that's it, over I was just on the west say side. It does, and that was kind of our effort you know people were so they'd seen the west side, you know, people go back and forth and they came over here and, hey, so what's next? And so uh, our staff did a great job really building this up. Speaking of the west side, there is a new addition to that side and it's the new beer garden on the south terrace. And I don't know if people realize that that was a place where beer was sold previously, but you had to have a special ticket to get in. Not the case anymore. Yeah, and I, you know, want to make sure because we talked the last time about alcohol sales and I got some emails from folks that were concerned. Uh, this isn't our, you know, our, our step into general alcohol sales in the stadium, but it does give our fans an opportunity that if they want to come in and have a beverage in a controlled environment, they'll be able to do that. And uh, you're right, it was available last year, but there was a special ticket. Now we're going to open it up a little bit more. So again, just trying to enhance our fans' experience and opportunities when they come in, and this will be a great, and a great addition. Two hours prior to kickoff, all the way through the end of the third quarter for the beer garden, and this was in the works long before the Oklahoma State announcement <laughs> was, came out, so not a, a, reaction, a reactionary sort of move. You mentioned fans coming in. The Powercat Perks program sounds like it's something that would really benefit everybody. Yeah, basically we're, we've created an app that the fans will be able to download, and as they come in and into games, they'll be able to, to secure points, and then they'll be able to take those points that they add up over the course of the year or the football season and go to various vendors uh, in, in the community and get discounts and, you know, opportunities, whether it's restaurants or, or shopping opportunities, you know, so much off, maybe two for ones, those opportunities once they build those points up. So, again, just another uh, chance for our fans to to enhance their time when they come to Bill Snyder Family Stadium. Yeah, it's like reward points, basically, working basically, off your credit yeah. card, yeah, same exactly. sort of deal. Speaking of ticketing, student mobile, student mobile ticketing, which is on this side, right below us, right, students coming in. A lot of stuff in here is for students, and student mobile ticketing is kind of an interesting deal. So no more paper handout tickets for a student? Well, you know, um, like most of us now, but I think even more so for our students, they live on their phone. And for them to take the time or feel like they have to print out a ticket or pick up a ticket, it just limits their chance or interest where they want to come. So we're trying this with our students. We think it, it'll be a great, much easier option for them to come in, show their phone, walk in, and not have to either pick up a ticket or print a ticket out. And so we're try as much as we can, we want our students, we need our students to come. They're a great part of the atmosphere. They add to the atmosphere, and I think this will be an, another chance for them to to make it easier for them to attend our games. Yeah, on this list of improvements, there's some other things to help with the efficiency of getting students in too. So uh, pedestal scanners and the, and the like. So 
uh, some of that stuff pointedly directed at trying to get more students in if, as quickly as possible. Other things that around the concourse, there are a number of other ones. We're not going to go through everything here on this list. Like I said, it's a list of 20 stuff, but a couple of ones we should point out. Some concession offerings, Chick-fil-A notably on the south end zone, and then some more up on the view level right above us. Yeah, you know, our Sodexo and, and, our, and our folks with Learfield and everybody in our fan experience, we're trying to, again, every chance we get enhance the concession opportunities uh, across the stadium. And, and Chick-fil-A is obviously a very popular brand. Uh, we're, gr we're really excited to have them in the stadium. Our fans will love that. And then other, other upgrades to the concession areas and, and more um, food options as well. Once and I think you'll be able to get on our app or our, our website and look at those options. So I think our fan experience staff and our staff in general in athletics really spent a lot of time to make sure that when our fans come that's on Saturdays to Bill Snyder Family Stadium, they're going to see changes every year. And then they may not be physically physical changes every year, but certainly changes that fans can experience no matter where they are on the stadium. Like we said, we didn't go through all of the changes for the 2018 season right now, so you can go online and announced already and go through the whole list through kstatesports.com and see which one may pique your interest uh, for this upcoming season. And as we mentioned before, love to have as many fans here as possible. We had a long streak of sellouts going. We want to see a lot of faces in the crowd. You know, that's it, it, one of the things that I enjoyed so much last year was the energy in our stadium. And being in a sold out stadium, the energy that brings is, is phenomenal for just the atmosphere, but it's more importantly phenomenal for our football team. And it, it, we've seen a, opposing team players talk about how difficult this stadium is to play in when it's sold out and it's loud. And right now we have tickets available. We, we certainly want to continue the, the opportunities to sell out every game. We've got a great lineup of games this year and, and plenty of opportunities and chances to buy tickets. So keep buying tickets. We want to have you here. KStateSports.com, 1-800-221-CATS, the number to call. Love to see a full house here coming up for just a couple of weeks, believe it or not, for a home opener against South Dakota. It's going to be here before we know it. Absolutely. Thanks for doing this. Great. And love to see you at uh, Bill Snyder Family Stadium all year long. Absolutely. For Gene Taylor, I'm Brian Smuller. Thanks for watching.